Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to another YouTube video. This video is a, an introduction, and then it's a bit of a vlog of things I'm going to mention in the introduction. So if you're brand new, welcome to my channel. Um, please subscribe and like this video. It really does help the channel, and we've been around for a while, so come and join um, the party. Um, but essentially, I wanted to do a video going into this session, this session, this season of the year because I've seen two different things on social media, both of which I want to partake in and I want to share it with you in case you haven't come across it yet and make you feel like motivated and inspired going into what is the cold part of the year, you know? It's not really the time where we're like, woo, summer bod, let's go. It's a bit more like couch potato mode on um so two things i have heard of a winter arc on tiktok and i will describe that one later on right because this will be too long of an introduction but a winter arc long story short is zoning in and locking in the last three months of the year giving it your all setting daily habits setting goals and getting them before the new year like i said i'll go into that later in the video but another thing i also saw was so a creator called Beck spoke about it and then Holly actually spoke about it in her videos. So I'm taking their wisdom here um, and putting it into my own spin-off. So um, the idea of becoming the future self you want to be by making choices every single day in the current present moment bases in your own already that person. So if you're trying to become a better person, no matter what that is um, for you or what that looks like for you, and you're making decisions on a day-to-day -day basis you have to think about what would my future self do in this moment and that's how you then become that person rather than just being like oh you know someone someday i'd like to be this or someday i'd like to be that act like it now and you will get there eventually so i'm going to talk through um in a kind of vlog style my daily habits or lifestyle changes small tweaks that I'm doing to become the best version of myself, the most motivated version of myself, disciplined, locked in, one to arc version of myself. What about small daily habits and small daily goals, not like monstrous things. Um, I will go into it when I talk about my kind of one to arc, but essentially I have set myself a new tar a new habit that is hard and challenging for me. And they're set like small daily habits. And then I want to talk about things like habit stacking so you might actually decide oh my god there's actually all these new things i want to do but i don't have the time in the day to do them break them all down see which ones you can clump together and do like in groups and um, and that way you're more efficient you get things done you can look at your life in blocks and different routines and you will achieve it because it'll be sustainable and it'll be long term and it won't be oh my god i'm trying to just like overhaul my life by doing all these crazy things and um, pinterest board coming to life. Goals, getting reached. Strongest version of self, we will be there. So welcome to the video, I hope you enjoy and I will see you throughout. Good morning guys, I am just about to head to the gym. Welcome to what is we are calling it on TikTok as 
the winter arc and I've never heard of a winter arc before right um, also this is not secure this is just sitting on the dashboard so it might be a bit wobbly um, drive real slow essentially the winter arc is this time of year when it's the last three months of the year like October November December where normally it gets dark it gets cozy it gets couch potato mode it gets like hibernation mode but instead of doing that you're actually going to like hone in on your goals instead of waiting for the new year and like, I personally don't really follow many fitness trends that come about on like TikTok and stuff um, but this one I just like the idea of because it's very much um, the idea of not waiting till New Year because everybody thinks at this time of the year it's like, oh, you know, it's Halloween, it's Christmas, I know Americans have Thanksgiving and stuff like that. It's like, and I what's the point? We'll just wait till New Year to start goals. And it's like, no, why wait three months? Like, if you started now, the, the difference you would make to yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, like absolutely everything, the changes you can make in three months can be massive. So, you can get such a head start on your 2025 goals if you just start now. So the next challenge on my app, Fit Girl Fall, will be launching very, very soon. Unfortunately, it didn't come out on 1st of October like I wanted, um, but it's going to be out within the next week. And that is the 12-week program I'm going to follow until the end of the year. It's four workouts a week. Um, and the winter arc, the idea of a winter arc is, it, there's no rules, it's a case of like you decide what it is you want to do what are your goals what are you trying to achieve so i did a thing on instagram where i started a broadcast channel on there called fit girl fall if you want to join in on that um but basically i'm kind of just doing the usual so i'm doing my four workouts per week but i want to make sure i am hitting those four workouts per, per week because there has been times lately the past few weeks where i've been maybe three times a week or i was sick or there's just things going on so i want to make sure i'm hitting four workouts a week I want to be making sure I am like on it with the nutrition. I want to make sure we're eating properly. Um, obviously, I do like to eat balanced for the most part. Like I'm never going to say I'm cutting out sugar or I'm never eating this or never eating that. But I do want to kind of hone in on the nutrition just slightly. Just I'm not going to lie, I've got to be a bit mad with the desserts lately. Like Adam and I, we're just we just love the late night food. So you know we'll be sitting there and it's like, well, we have an apple pie. Why not just have the apple? or I'm like oh there's some magnums in the freezer shall we have some magnums again nothing wrong with that whatsoever but I do just want to hone in just slightly just level up just a tad so four workouts per week honing in on the nutrition make sure we're hitting our protein really try and focus on whole food as much as possible but without restriction um obviously drinking plenty of water taking creatine every single day i do take creatine every day anyway but i want to put that one in there because that might be a goal that you might want to start um but i did think of right what are some things like habit wise that i could change that could change my routine that could change just something about me and, and i decided to pick um three habits and two of them are new one of them is an ice bath now am i committed to doing an ice bath every single day probably not every single day but am i going to try and do it at least a couple of times a week yes so i got an ice bath my friend chloe actually has a brand it's called the soul hub i'll link it down below and she has these like not like inflatable tubs essentially um and i have filled that now with ice and with water and it's been sitting there for two days and i am ready I think today is the day. Today is the day to jump in the freeze cold water. So I wanted to pick something hard to challenge myself and to push myself because like I know what I'm doing in the gym and I know how to eat and stuff and it's just I needed something hard and something that's really going to make me go oh I actually have to really try and push myself to do this. The second thing is reading. So I always say I want to read more and I never ever do it okay. I'm all talk but I have a bunch of like self-development books or leadership books and all these different kind of businessy books not um like fantasy that's not what i mean but like self-help books if anything um and i posted on my broadcast channel and you guys voted for like the one to start with so i want to just read 10 pages a day nothing crazy literally 10 pages a day and the third thing is to 
commit to going outside for half an hour every day so whether that's walking I would like to dabble in the running game but I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to start with that so that is my winter art personally um, I want to know what your goals are are you joining in are you taking part are you getting the tracksuit on with the booty shorts underneath that's what I've got going on now it's leg day um, are you hitting the goal? Are you hitting the gym? And are we deciding there's too many magpies on this drive? There's too many magpies on this drive. Are we deciding that we're seizing the day and we're not waiting till New Year? Because if that's the case, then jump on board. Um, my next challenge, like I said, will be out within the week on my app. We can all do it together and it'll run right up till the end of the year. So, Fit Girl Fall, Winter Arc 2024. Let's go. Three months. October, November, December. You've got three months left in the year and you have one of two choices. You can do what you've been doing. That was such, it was a good leg day, but at the same time, like this is a weird thing to say, right? Because I woke up sweating this morning, right? Like really like, wow, why do I feel so like warm? And then my whoop told me that I'm 0.9 degrees warmer than my usual rate. And also my natural cycle thermometer was like, your temperature is slightly raised. Um, the past few days, I can't remember if I mentioned this or not, so I've weaned off breastfeeding, right? And essentially what I was doing was cutting it down, like feed by feed, all the way down until we were only feeding once before bedtime. Um, and then I was doing that for like two weeks and then I just stopped that one feed before bed. And I thought that's just the way I'm gonna do it. That's how to wean off of it. But the one boob that was getting used for feeding is so... I think it's the word engorged. I can't work out if it's all blocked or if it's basically it's full of milk and it is rock solid and it is agony and it's covered in lumps and bumps and all sorts. So I was trying to look into it yesterday because I thought if you expressed it, it was going to keep your supply up. And I thought, well, I don't want that. I'm trying to not have a breast milk supply. Um, but when I was looking into it, it was like you can do like small amounts of hand expressing to try and like relieve it. I've done hot compresses on it. But it's like the past few days I've really been like, oh my god, like I feel like there's this massive bowling ball just in my boob. Like my boob is a bowling ball and it is so sore um, and I'm feeling it today as well. And I think like last night I had it in my head like this is going to get, this sounds gross but it's reality. I was like this is going to get infected or I'm going to get like unwell from this. And then I woke up this morning like hot sweats, like not feeling 100%. So. I'm now a bit concerned about my boob. Um, I don't think it's infected, but I really do think that it's going to get there. Because, like, infected is in like mastitis or something like that, because it is rock solid and it's covered in like it's so lumpy, and there's one big massive like bump underneath. And I'm trying to massage it. I was in the shower last night for ages, like massaging away. Hope there's no men watching this because you'll be having a field day. But my pies. But I was like in the shower with the hot steam like massaging it and kind of expressing it and trying to get the milk away and oh my god I just like pressed it at one point and there was just a stream that just kept going it was like turning a hose on but like obviously just really really fine and it just kept going and going and going and I thought oh my god how much milk is actually built up in here so that's where I'm at right now I am on my way to I'm going to go through a drive through and get coffees for Adam and I um I am dying for my lunch but I'm going to ice bath when I get back. I'm going to get a coffee and I'm going to ice bath. So wish me luck. Hello from Starbucks, what can I get for you? Hiya, can I get two large ice vanilla lattes please? So for you. That's everything, thank you. Meet her then, thanks. thanks. I never get coffee out. Um, more so because where we live, there's literally nowhere to go and get coffee. This was like 15 minutes from the gym and I just thought, YOLO, whilst I am on my toad, I'm going to get a coffee. Two ice vanilla oat lattes. That's great, thank you very much. The actual beer's cold. Never mind the water. This isn't hard, it's just cold. It's just cold. I'll be fine. At least I won't be alone. Just scared. I'm actually scared. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Okay. <laughs> It's just cold. It's just cold. It's just cold. 
Mind that time I was in labour for two days? Uh -huh. <laughs> that was hard. <sighs> Mind that time I got placenta taken out <laughs> with no morphine? That was hard. <laughs> Are you climatising? <sighs> yeah. Are you? Oh my god, it's just cold. That was quick. It's echoing. I'll get another ice cube. <laughs> this is my, my winter arc hard. Okay. To do the hard thing I have to challenge myself to do a few times a week. <sighs> okay. How long's it been? <laughs> I've not started. Shut up. How long's it actually been? 54 seconds. I believe I can fly. I think this would be better if you were in like a lake. <laughs> so you could swim around. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Nessie? <sighs> oh no. After me. No, no, no. <laughs> hey neighbours. <laughs> what you doing? <sighs> okay. I think I might be done. <laughs> Okay. Well done. I think it's okay. Yeah. For three day war. I feel that there could be more ice in it next time. Probably, but this is a wee start. Okay, you know not bad. Can I have my towel, please? Yeah. Come on. Okay. Oh my god, it's actually freezing. Something I actually spoke about on Instagram story and I think I'll just slot it in here. I have to use my phone because we're out on a walk, but habit stacking and essentially the idea of it is, especially with something like this where you're trying to do so, not even so many, but a lot of small daily habits or routines and you just get a bit overwhelmed because you think, how am I going to do all that? Even if they're such small things. So for example, um, I want to try and walk for like 30 minutes a day. I want Blake to get outside for the day. Um, within that it's like fresh air. Um, I want to listen to a podcast, um, you know, want to kind of get steps up, that kind of thing. And then there's also, oh, Blake needs to nap. All of those things can be put together and in 30 minutes I can take her out in the pram, she falls asleep for a nap, she gets the fresh air, I get the walk, I get the fresh air, I can listen to a podcast because she falls asleep. Um, so maybe if you have like all these small habits or all these things you want to try and do, write them all down and then see which ones can actually be grouped either into routines so like a morning routine an evening routine a skincare routine a nutrition routine that kind of thing for example if you're trying to take supplements every day or vitamins every day make it part of your breakfast routine for example um and then other habits like the ones i just listed there you can do all together um on like a walk for like half an hour so nutrition for me isn't really an area that i struggle with at all like I'm, I feel like I'm good with my nutrition but I'm not the best with planning and being prepared so I have made a point of every Sunday doing my food shop so that it is delivered on Monday and there's no running around last minute trying to get stuff or being unprepared or just going on Deliveroo and I have been planning my meals a wee bit better and I've been doing a lot of one pan meals so things that you just put on a pan that takes literally two minutes and then put it in the oven for like half an hour or one like pot things that only require you to throw everything in one place and just leave it um, and that is the that's the kind of the premise behind the meals and the meal plan that's going to be on the fit girl fall it's actually a meal prep meal guide so breakfast lunch dinner snacks are all things that you can meal prep in like an hour like the whole three days worth can be done in like an hour and then you just crack on with your life nobody really wants to spend all their time cooking nobody wants to spend all their time like cutting up food making food nobody wants to do that let's be realistic but we all want to be prepared and we all want to reach our goals so let's go and make my current favorite one pan dinner which is literally it is a bit of cheating because a lot of the stuff is already prepped as in i bought it from the shop like this which is totally fine um but it just makes life that wee bit prepped and seasoned sweet potato wedges, prepped vegetables. I will do the tofu myself, but then we fling it all in the oven and we're good to go. I 
literally it. This is it. I don't even mix the sauce in. Just wait for your oven to preheat and throw this in. Um, I'm half in the sweet potato with Adam, but this is all my veg, all my tofu, and then half the sweet potato. But you could add in obviously a bit more and just make it meal prep. And you can make this last you today, tomorrow, the next day. This is a small tray, so I can't actually put too much on it. <laughs> um, but if you're trying to meal prep and you're trying to make your life so easy, just get two or three giant trays, put your carbs, your protein, your vegetables, and whack it in the oven and just leave it. And you literally have your food done and ready for a few days. It's just, it's, we need to stop overcomplicating it. That's all. We need to stop overcomplicating it and just make our life simple because who has the time? Who has the time? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you take inspiration from it and I hope you decide to hone in these last few months of the year. You don't have to do anything crazy. You can just look at your day and think, how can I improve it slightly with a couple of different habits? How can I then group those habits together into routines or subcategories or just get everything done at the one time and be efficient? And I hope to see you for Fit Girl Fall next week. It's the last challenge of the year. 